Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special video showcase we're going to be once again going back to the Marvel Transformers UK comics. What we'll do with this video, we'll have a quick flick through from cover to cover and we'll have a look at some of the adverts and some of the things that were going on at that particular time and then once we've done that I'm going to go back to the story, I'll go nice and slowly over all the artwork and all the dialogue so you can then read it yourselves. You might need to use the pause button or a zoom in just to make sure you can get everything, but I'm gonna give you more than enough um, opportunity to be able to read these. So, as I say, this is the UK version of the comics and they were released fortnightly. This came out on the 1st of December to the 14th of December, 1984. So nearly 36 years old. And as I've just mentioned, it is a Marvel UK comic, so we've got the appearance of Spider-Man in here as a guest star as well. So, as I say, let's go through this, have a quick look, and then we'll spend a lot more time so you can read it in more detail at the end. So, we've got an Autobot fact file, and this time it's actually got an Autobot in. I don't know if you remember last time we had Megatron, which was very interesting because it said it was an Autobot fact file. And then Knight Rider, of course, was huge, huge in the early and mid-80s. I'm not too sure if it was too suitable for kids, but there we go. Got a few um, letters of things, pen pals, before obviously the dates of um, email, etc. So this is the actual comic strip, and unfortunately it is in black and white. However, I've got this book here, so you can have a look at it all in colour. So I'll come to that in a second. Uh, yeah, the weird thing about this is half of it's colour, half of it's black and white. Obviously that was just to keep costs down, I would imagine. Carrying on. So we've got subscribe to the Transformers and that's because they obviously decided, well, they knew that they were going to be able to continue to run with these. For those of you who don't already know, um, the Marvel UK comics, the first eight issues were made up of the first four issues in the US. Then after issue eight, they started producing their own material. And that's probably why this is going to get a bit more interesting after that for our non-UK viewers. So we've got a robot roundup again, and this consists of just again how popular robots were in the mid 80s of course you had the droids from star wars etc and we had a thing called doctor who which is now worldwide but he was very big in the uk in the 80s as well and they had lots of robots in there's the continuation of the story we've got one of these lovely posters again still kept inside and then i don't know what this is but it looks like megatron in a full-on balaclava very nice and i'm not sure exactly which jet that is it could be thundercracker but the colors are slightly off these posters, and same in the last issue, they just seem to be a little bit off. Interesting. But there we go. So that's one of the posters that's in there. And here's an advert for what's going on at the time, of course. Wave 1, Generation 1 toys. There we go. Two, four, six of the Autobot cars that were released at the time. Wave 1. No prices, unfortunately, but there we go. Uh, now we've got uh, some more adverts. And then this is the other comic strip that they ran as well called Machine Man. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on this at all. I will get just to the main comic strip as well in a second. And then we've got a Transformers keyboard competition and I didn't even realise that this was here. This is obviously the old owner of the um, comic. I'm just having to think of how amazing it would be if anybody even knew who he was or if even crazier he was watching this video right now. That would be really something wouldn't it? I've got your comic mate and it's obviously been well looked after. That's the rest of Machine Man. And there we go. We've got a little comic strip there. And it's advertising the next issue, which will be the Christmas issue. Once again, we've got the annuals at the back, back in the 80s and 90s. Not so much now. I know they still release them, but obviously annuals were very big around Christmas time. You knew it was coming close to Christmas when you could get an annual. So there it is. We're going to go on to the actual story now. I'm going to be... Quiet. I'm going to go over this as slowly as I can so you guys can actually get to read the dialogue and I'll be quiet yep yeah, until we get to the end of this so here we go issue six or issue three probably it would be in the US let's have a look
okay guys thanks for staying to the end that concludes the end of marvel uk transformers issue six i'll be continuing as i say throughout all of these i'll try and get two a week done so you're not waiting too long again once we get past issue eight it will be lots of new stories that maybe you guys in the us haven't seen um but yeah hope you guys are still enjoying this keep your ideas and suggestions coming through and of course please take care